This is Epic. Now, the first thing you do when you install Epic is to click on the mobile extensions that blue link on the new tab page, enable the ad block, enable the encrypted proxy or a VPN. The encrypted proxy, it's unlimited, it's free. You can control it here on the new tab page. You can choose from eight different countries. There are no in-app purchases or anything like that. It's recommended to use it uh, for the highest level of security. Now, that being said, sometimes when you're using the encrypted proxy, some sites won't work, so you can disable it here. Similarly, some sites won't work uh, if you have the ad block on. So if you need to ever disable the ad block for a particular website here in the settings, under block ads and tracking, you can disable the ad block just in case a website isn't loading. Now, there are, now other than that, all the other privacy protections and security protections in Epic are enabled by default. So there's nothing else you need to do other than enabling the ad block and the proxy and the, and the mobile extensions. Now, there are many other features in Epic, for instance, um, here at Bloomberg, you can you can load up a web page, uh, which I which is loading up right now, and let's suppose let's see here. All right, so I've I've reached my limit. They want me to log in, but I want to protect my privacy. I don't want to do that. So you can use Epic's reader mode, and you can bypass that restriction. And here you can read the text of that that article and and the photos. Um, you could do, you could use that feature on the, in the New York Times as well, uh, or on any web page where you just want to read the web page in clean text with images. So, if you want to open up an, an article here on the New York Times, and maybe they want me to lock in, or maybe I just want to read the page really cleanly displayed. So here it is in in Epic's reader mode. Well, we'll see it here in a second. Say here it's loaded up, so you can see the text here and the photos, and it's really easy to read. So that's the reader mode button up here. There are other things that you could do with articles. You can add them to Epic's audio queue. So this article was just added to Epic's audio queue. Let's add some more articles. So the all at the audio queue is is you can add web pages or news articles into this audio queue and then Epic will read that set of web pages or articles to you. So let's suppose that you're on the run uh, or you're traveling uh, or you're just going for a walk outside. Uh, what you can do is you can, you can go to the audio queue. Let's go back here. We should have two articles in here. Okay, we have a few articles I added actually earlier. So we've got four articles in here. You could just press Instead play. Of reading the main story with ruling focused on employment discrimination, but continue reading the main story. Cash starved states are forced to make massive job cuts. Reopenings for some restaurants and bars are short lived amid new infection. Epic starts reading the articles to you. So you can use the audio cue when you're on the run and, and Epic can read read articles to you. That's that's one of the things we built into Epic and it's it's a mobile first, the first time in a mobile browser. Another thing that you could do in Epic is we have a built-in file vault. So now if you want to download this image, you can download and encrypt it into the file vault. Now I encrypted that into my vault to get to access it, I have to go to my downloads, which is right here. And this is actually a photo I want to I want to actually encrypt it. So I long press on it and then I click that lock button. Now this photo is encrypted. And then as you saw, I encrypted a different photo a little bit earlier. So I have to enter my password, which I'd entered before. And here are both photos. So that one's moved to decrypted downloads. And so is that one. And so now I could actually view both of them, including this photo that I had just saved. Now, if I want to encrypt it again, I long press it and I click the lock button and now that photo is encrypted and you can you can encrypt any kind of file on your system using Epic's encrypted file vault. We don't have browsing history in Epic, so you should liberally bookmark websites that you might want to visit again. Uh, Epic does have several thousand websites built in to the address bar via a local database that it auto fills so that you don't always have to type in the full URL. So that's convenient. And then down here, 
you can see that you can you can set websites. It's all user selected for websites that you go to regularly. Um, you can have uh, a quick quick dial for them effectively. Now, there's something really interesting you could do here on YouTube, which is that you could do a background play with Epic. What you do is you load the video you want to watch, which I've done here, and you can click desktop site and then play the video, then pause the video. Let's see here. All right, let's play the video. It should start playing here in a second. Okay, now I'm gonna pause the video. And now if I close Epic, there are some controls over here and I can start playing it. And there she is. We can hear her singing it. Let's pause that video. Let's go back. So that's a basic introduction to Epic. I'm gonna tell you one other secret trick for YouTube. If you type PP at the end of YouTube for any video URL, Voila, you're gonna get a web page where you can actually download the YouTube videos that you want uh, with video or just audio. That's another secret trick. Another recommendation for Epic users is to regularly click this, clear data and close all tabs. So you kind of clean Epic out. It's one click so that you can clean all your browsing data. We don't have browsing history, but we still have to store back and forth the data for the tabs and other kinds of data. So you can click that to delete all data in Epic really easily. Uh, so that's a quick introduction to Epic. That's about all you need to know. Welcome to Epic. We hope you enjoy browsing with privacy.